In this problem, we're told to find the angular momentum of a 0.21 kilogram ball rotating on one end of a thin string in a circle of radius 1.35 meters at an angular speed of 10.4 radians per second. So let's go ahead and solve this problem. So in order to solve this, there's a formula you need to know, which is angular momentum, uh, L, is equal to inertia multiplied by angular velocity omega. So this is the formula we're going to use in order to solve this. But before we solve this, let's go ahead and write down what we're given. So what are the different variables? So we're told it's going to have a ball, 0.21 kilograms. So the mass of our ball that's rotating is 0.21 kilograms. And then we know it's going to be rotating on the end of a thin string in a circle radius. And so they tell us the radius is equal to 1.35 meters. So that's the radius. And then the angular speed, uh, omega, is going to be equal to 10.4 radians per second. So these are going to be our variables, so let's go ahead and solve. So angular momentum L is going to be equal to inertia times uh, omega, right? And we know omega, it's 10.4 radians per second. But what is inertia going to be equal to in this case? So we have to know the formula for inertia for something like this. So essentially, we just have a string like this, and we have a ball in the end. It's going to rotate in a circle like this. My circle isn't that good, but imagine this is a perfect circle. It's going to rotate around. And so essentially, the formula for something like this uh, where you have something on the end rotating in a circle, in a loop, essentially. Uh, it's going to be, the formula is inertia equals mr squared, right? So this is the formula you'd use for something that's going in this shape, right, rotating around a circle. And so this is the formula we're going to use. Uh, if you look in your textbook, they should give you the formulas for inertia, and they'll tell you in which scenario you use them. So you'll see that this is the formula we use for this scenario. So it's going to be L, or angular momentum, is equal to uh, m, which is or inertia, which is m r squared, multiplied by angular velocity. So we can just plug in our values now, since we've got it like this. So m, our mass is 0.21, and then multiply that by uh, the radius, which is 1.35. Right. So 1.35 squared multiplied by angular velocity, which is 10.4. So if you go ahead and do this, and so you want to plug it in your calculator, so let me plug it in. So 0.21 times 1.35 squared times 10.4. So if you go ahead and do this, you're going to get 3.98, 3.98034. So I'm just going to round to 3.98. And so keep in mind what the units for this is. It's going to be kilograms kilograms right because this comes from the mass the kilograms and then meters squared per second right because this is meters squared and then this is going to be radians per second but we can ignore the radians so yeah it's kilogram times meters per second squared over seconds you can imagine this whole thing over it but yeah essentially this is going to be your answer so 3.98 kilogram meters squared over seconds but yeah so this right here is going to be uh, angular momentum. And so yeah, hopefully you found this video useful.